so I'm just sitting in my car here. I've never really filmed anything in my car, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I'm just making a short video because I found out something last week that kind of sent me into a funk and I just wanted to make a video about it. So I've been having chronic um, fatigue and insomnia, you can see my finger there, sorry about that, for a really long time, just so much trouble sleeping at night, I just feel dead tired every day even when I do get enough sleep. And I happened on this YouTube video by this person who had recently recovered from an eating disorder and it was about all the health benefits she had gotten from gaining weight and I don't have an eating disorder but I was kind of interested because I tend to be more on the underweight side. Lately I've just been skipping meals because I don't have the energy to prepare them and stuff like that so I probably weigh less than I should. And the funny part was I expected to maybe have a few things in common with this person health-wise, but almost every single thing she mentioned was something that I've been struggling with. Like, even things that I've never talked about on my blog or to other people, um, like <laughs> hair falling out, hair getting thin and breaking, and that's something that's been happening to me. And then other things like feeling tired all day, feeling foggy, not having enough energy, um, not being able to go to the bathroom, going to the bathroom too many times, and I don't know how both of those happen at the same time, but they kind of do. And it made me wonder, maybe I could at least help some of my conditions by just trying to gain a couple pounds. And I know that I have had insomnia when I've been much heavier than I am now. Like, it was pretty bad during my senior year of college, and that was actually when I weighed the most I've ever weighed in my life, like maybe 113 pounds or something. So I don't think that gaining weight in itself is going to fix my insomnia, but maybe it will help. Like, maybe it will make recovery easier at least. I was kind of surprised to see how little I actually weigh now. I don't have a scale. So I pretty much never know how much I weigh, but I went to a doctor's appointment and in the middle of the morning they weighed me at 104 pounds, which it's not the lowest I've ever been by far, but maybe now that I'm getting into my 30s that's lower than I should be, like I should be gaining a little bit of weight. And if you're five foot four, which is what I am, that puts your BMI at just below 18, which I think is... Yeah, a little on the low side, like I don't think everyone has to have the same BMI, but you know, like I think probably between 18 and 19 is better. So that's something I'm going to work on. Ever since I thought of that though, like I've felt like I start feeling, I feel really bony all the time. Like I look at my arms or I look at my collarbones, like when I lift my arm up I can see the ribs under the skin in my back, like they're little worms. It's so disgusting. Um, sometimes when I sit down, I can feel my hip bones and I don't think you're supposed to be able to feel those. So, and when I'm just lying in bed, cuddling with my boyfriend, sometimes like my ribs hurt if he puts his arm around me the wrong way. Like my back hurts, my shoulders hurt, and maybe that's because I need more padding. I'm just sore all the time because there's no padding on my bones. Who knows? So I'm going to try to gain weight by actually eating three meals a day and not skipping them. <laughs> I'm not really planning on doing anything too fancy, but who knows? Maybe if I gain a couple pounds, everything will get a little bit easier. Well, thanks for watching.